Hi, I'm Dane. I'm Mary. I'm Vero. And I'm Mari Jose. And we are students at Lincoln School in Costa Rica. We recently went on a field trip and learned all kinds of things, including how to make handmade recycled paper. Come join us! This is a place called Amores, Asociación de Mujeres de Reciclaje. In English, that means Association of Women Who Recycle. The women that work here are all volunteers who wanted to do something positive for the world. So they started making recycled paper and teaching others to do the same. Can you guess why it's a good idea to make recycled paper? Well, first of all, it's a cool craft. These frames are from recycled paper made here. We each got to paint one, which was super cool. But there's another reason to make paper using recycled materials. It helps the environment. We'll explain how. People use a lot of paper. And not just for writing and printing on it. And of course, there's toilet paper. Paper towels. Paper napkins. Paper bags. Paper plates. And. 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 Take a moment right now and look at all the paper around you. It's staggering! According to Ecology.com, the world's population consumes 300 tons of paper per year. This is a good reason to eliminate homework. It uses too much paper. You know what most paper today is made from, don't you? Trees! Everyone knows we need to save trees, but do you know why? Trees serve many important functions in our environment. For one, they help keep the ground from eroding and washing away when it rains. Trees also provide food and habitats for many animals. Loss of forest is one of the major threats to animals in the world, and it's causing many to become endangered or extinct. Perhaps the most important role that trees play in our environment is to absorb toxic carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. So we can keep cutting trees, or guess who might go extinct next. Uh-oh! There's another reason to make and use recycled paper. You know the three R's, don't you? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, by making recycled paper, you're doing all three at once. So let's get started! Here in Costa Rica, we grow lots of bananas. What can we do with all the leftover banana fiber? Use it to make paper. At Amorelsi, that's just what we did. Shredded bits of old newspaper and other papers, along with banana plant fibers, were put into this large tub to soak. This loosens the fibers and breaks things apart until it's all nice and mushy. The mixture takes a while to soak. While that's happening, we're going to tell you a bit about the history of paper. 6,000 years ago, Egyptians invented paper. The first paper wasn't made from trees. It was made from papyrus. Papyrus is a plant that grows near the Nile River in Egypt. It's where the word paper comes from. Papyrus is more like a mat than the paper we know today, but it was portable, light, and easy to write on. As opposed to, say, chiseling your words in a stone. Boy, it would take forever to do your homework like that. Therefore, papyrus became the material people used to write on for thousands of years. In 105 AD, the Chinese started using a mixture of tree and plant fibers along with rags to make a new product to write on. This was the beginning of paper as we know it, and it was pretty much made the same way we are making the paper today at Amoresi. It took another thousand years or so, however, for the process of making paper to reach Europe. That's what happens when you have to travel by camel instead of using the internet. 
prior to paper but after papyrus, the Europeans had switched to parchment. This was made from animal skins. It took about 300 sheep to make one Bible. So parchment wasn't exactly something you used every day. It was reserved for special people to use for important documents and spiritual texts. In 1456, German inventor Johann Gutenberg perfected movable type and printed the first Bible on paper. Suddenly, people started using paper for everyday communications. This sparked a revolution in mass communication that's been growing ever since. Who knew paper had such an exciting history? Let's check on our soaking fibers. The mush now gets put into a blender and beaten into a pulp. The pulp goes back in the tub where the fibers float in water. Next, we dip a frame screen into the water and carefully lift it to the surface to catch the fibers. Flip over the screen onto a cloth and squeeze out the extra water. Then, let it dry in the sun for days. And voila! We've got recycled paper! Our final product is used to make picture frames, bookmarks, and other paper crafts. As you learned today, not only is recycled paper pretty, it's a way to save trees and protect our environment. We kids can make a difference to create a better world. So please do your part! You don't have to make your own paper in order to help. Be sure your paper from home and school gets sent to a recycling center. When you're buying paper products, look for items that are made from recycled paper or from products other than trees. And of course, you can always plant a tree too. Thanks for coming along on our supernatural paper adventure! adventure.